All right, let's find some more zeros of a polynomial function. Let's look at this one right here. Ooh, Nelly. Coach Tony, if I set that equal to zero, I can't, nothing to come. That's right. So we're going to use the force, Luke. Uh, well, we're not really going to use a force. Our force will be a calculator. That's our force. Then how we're not Jedi. All right. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go to my Y equals button and plug this in. So if you have your calculator, go to your Y equal and plug it in. The graph will look something like this. This is a window, I believe, about from negative 3 to 3 and from about negative 12 to 6, I think, is what that particular window is on the thing that I graphed out on my particular calculator. Now, what we need to find is this. I want to find the zeros. I'm going to hit second calculate on my button. And then I'm going to option two. Second calculate, option two. And then I'm going to have the left bound show up. And what's going to happen is you'll have a little star thing looking like that. And you're going to have the left arrow button until you arrow it past that hump. Now, is this past that um, hump here? By hump, I mean left. I'm finding the zero. I want to find that point right there. I'm finding the zero of the function, so I have to be left of it. And then once I hit left of it, I'll hit enter. And then I'm going to have to arrow again. That's what this right one is here. Arrow until now it's what? There. I'll hit enter one more time. And then I hit enter again, and it will tell me that the answer is this. That one of the x's occurs at negative 1.86 and y is zero, okay? And I have to do the whole thing again for these points and those points. And if I do it again here, I'll have to be like left there, right there, left here, right there. You always wanna be left of the line, then right of the point you're looking for when you do the left bound and right bound. And these are, that's another point. That point right there is at negative 0.254 and y is zero. And the last one is at 2.115 and y is zero. The reason I point these out is you don't see numbers like three or two, meaning this does not factor very easily. And the thing I want you to notice is this here. Notice this is a fifth, right? It's possible to have five answers, but we do not have five answers. And here's kind of why. And it says there's degrees five, but there's only three. And the reason is, if you could factor this, which is a skill we have not acquired at this level yet, you would have x squared plus one times x cubed minus four x minus one. And think about it, x squared plus one is a quadratic that would go up one and it would look like that. It does not cross the x-axis. Hence, that's why two of the answers are not on there. And that is possible. It meaning if you have an x to the fifth, it means you could have five answers. It doesn't mean you will have five answers. You could have up to possible five answers. An x to the fourth could have possibly four, but it doesn't have to, all right?